What's going on guys? Today I'm here to show you all my top five lists that you all can get for completely free. Let's get into it. So let's just jump straight into the program. We're here in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have a clip lined up with the letterbox image over top of it. And this particular clip I've already done micro color correction adjustments to it. You can see this is a log clip. And I just did co uh, the color correction to it to get it to a space where I like it uh, before I add on the LUTs. So we're gonna get into the LUTs here in a second. All of these LUTs are completely free, like I said, and some of them, most of them I did not create myself. So I'm gonna give credit to the people. Just head over to the sites, they're down in the description, as I said. And uh, they're all pretty cool LUTs, I like them a lot. And these are my top five of them. So uh, the first one that we're gonna get into is by a company called Osiris. I'm not sure if that's what the company's called, but that's the name of the particular LUT pack, I think. Uh, and this is M31. If you've been into film for a while, if you've ever heard about any free LUT, like this is the free LUT, like this is huge. If you don't know anything about M31, I'm putting you on game right now. Uh, but it's just like a typical, um, a, a typical orientation of the teal and blue orange scheme that you're seeing a lot in, you know, videos online and even in modern film. Um, orange and teal is very popular. So we added it on. I chose the Rec 709 option because I already did micro adjustments to this, like I said. And it's cool, man. I like uh, M31 a lot. And it goes on a lot of different instances. Like you can put M31 on pretty much anything and you can tweak it. You know, you can go in and you can adjust the intensity and, you know, stuff like that. I'll probably drop the intensity down just a little bit. It's a little bit too faded for my personal liking. Uh, so I'll probably drop it down to like a 50 or like a 60 or so. I can think that this looks really good right here because I already liked how it looked when I did my uh, my color correction. So I would drop it down to like a 50, but that's just me. You can put it on a 100, you can do what you wanna do. M31, the first one. Uh, the second one that we're gonna get into is, I'm not even sure what this company's name is, but they are actually, they actually produce the next two LUTs. So they have this really cool color grading pack of like 200 LUTs for like 25 bucks. Have a really cool site which allows you to input a screenshot of the video that you're using and then you can preview the different LUTs on that particular screenshot. It's pretty cool, but I'll leave a link in the description because I don't even know how to pronounce the company's name. The first LUT uh, that we're going to get into by them is called 8700, F8700. Um, and I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to choose the standard cube one. And this is also like a like a teal and yellow or a teal and orange color scheme. But it's pretty cool, I like it a lot. Um, and it goes in a lot of different like scenarios. Like you can use it daylight, like tungsten, indoors, cloudy. Like I really like this a lot. I've used this on my, uh, my I've used this on my vlogs a few times, but I just jump all over the space with my, um, with my vlog color. So like 100% right there is a little bit, it's like way too faded for me. So I'm just gonna drop the intensity down on it. I'll probably do like a 50 or so. Uh, just because in this particular clip, I like the color so much. Like even without a LUT, like this color right here just looks really good to me. So, um, you know, like I, I would probably just need like a light LUT on there and then I would probably just go back into the base correction and drop the shadows down just a little bit or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but this light is actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. And uh, like I said, I've used this um, on a few of my vlogs before. It looks really good on log footage. So if you shoot Sony log, this is going to be a good LUT for you. Let's get into the next one. The next one is by the same company, as I said, let's find the next LUT. And this LUT right here, the next one, it's actually, uh, if y'all have seen the Kendrick Lamar Humble video, y'all know the cool video where he is, he's doing a bunch of stuff. If you've never seen Humble Man, go watch it. But this is actually a humble, humble, humble inspired LUT. And we're just gonna drop the standard on because I already did the corrections, as I said, like four times already. And this light is cool. It's warmer than the other ones. Like, I didn't want to go too deep into the teal and orange because it's like, I can give y'all five teal and orange lights, but who wants to see that? So this one's more on the warmer side. And this is a really cool light as well. It still has those little bit of blues and teals you can see right here uh, back here on this guy's shirt. But it really just accentuates and enhances the blues that are already in the scene. And it's not going to add any additional ones in. So like I said, this is a cool light. It's kind of warm. I would probably drop the intensity down on it just a little bit, probably to like a 80 or 75. Like 75 right there, that looks good. Like that's a good LUT. Like I, I would definitely use this LUT in this video. Changes the colors. It just adds like, I like this LUT a lot. Like they killed this LUT, I love this LUT. 
and this is by the exact same company. Really quick before we get into the next letter, I want to give a really quick shout out to the lovely people over at Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Whether you need a domain, a website, a store, a blog, pretty much anything, anything that has to do with the website, head over to Squarespace. They're the people to go through. They have really dope designer templates. So for the people who don't know anything about coding and all the back end unnecessary stuff that goes into websites, this is going to be the place for you all. They also have award winning 24 seven customer support. So if you ever have a problem, you can hit them up. They'll hit you right back. And it's an all in one platform. So no updates are needed. It's just, it's just an amazing place to be if you're trying to do anything surrounding the website. Website. So if you all are interested in starting a website and bettering your online presence, head over to squarespace.com right now to start your free trial. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging to get 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back into the let's though. All right. So the next let that we're going to get into is something that I created myself. I produced a tutorial a few months back um, of me just going in and, you know, doing color correction and I decided to give away the left for free. So if you missed that video, uh, this is going to be a quick free let for you all. And this is my my yucky light, yucky light. I don't even know why I called it that. Well, the reason I initially called it that was because the name of the song of the video clip that it was from was called Yucky, so that's why. But this clip right here, this light right here, my bad. Uh, it already has like the basic correction adjustments to it. So if you're gonna be applying this, um, I would just click off your basic correction right here, and you can see. Uh, pretty much does all the work for you. It's not really much that you would have to do to it because it already has the basic correction uh, tones to it. Um, but you could put it on and you can just drop the intensity way down to like a 30 or so. Um, but like I said, all the adjustments and all that are already done to it. So you might not even have to go in and adjust your contrast and up your shadows and up your highlights and your midtones and all that other stuff like that. This Yucky Let is pretty cool and it works in a lot of different scenarios as well. It's gonna work on those grungy videos. It's gonna work if you're in the desert. It's just an overall dope light that I created and I like it a lot. All right, so the last and final light that we're gonna get into is actually right inside Premiere. We don't have to go anywhere to download it right here. Uh, we'll just click on our clip and then we'll head over to the creative tab. And it's actually two lights in here that I like depending on the different moves that I'm going for. My favorite in here is the Kodak 5205 LUT. Amazing, right inside a program. You don't have to go anywhere to do it. As I said, we'll just go in and we'll go to the browse tab and we'll click on the Kodak 5205. Fire LUT, like. This is a free lap that Adobe's giving you, so I don't want to see anybody that has bad correction. Like, this is fire. Out of these five LUTs, if you just use these, you'll be good because you can tweak them in so many different ways. But like I said, this LUT is fire. Like, the, the shadows might be a bit too shadow for me, so what I would do is I would probably just go in, drop the intensity down. This is a fire lap, man, for free. Right inside a program, you can see, gives you just minor adjustments. You will have to be actually good at color correcting and shooting, but... If you just drop this on, amazing LUT. Uh, the next one that I like a lot is the 5218, um, the Kodak 292395. And this is like more of a warm faded LUT, depending on the feeling that I'm going for. If, I'm, if I wanna go for like a vintage feel, or if I just want to go faded, this is a good uh, look. This is at 57% on the intensity. Way up, might bite, uh, way up might be a little bit too faded for me. I'll probably drop it down just a little bit, maybe like to even like a 30 or 35, depending on uh, the different basic corrections that I do to the clip before I add the LUT. So there it is, guys. Those are my five free LUTs that you all can get for completely free. I don't know why I said free twice, but those are free. The links for these are down in the description. So if you're interested, definitely go check them out, man. You can never have too many LUTs. Uh, and these are going to work in a lot of different scenarios and instances and places. Uh, like I said, the M31 flawless and pretty much anything depending on how you adjust it and you know dial with the intensity but that's pretty much going to be all of these so i'm gonna get out of here because i'm rambling if you all enjoyed this make sure to drop me a like comment also subscribe to this channel if you're new here peace out guys